Sabaha, everybody, and welcome back to Exposed Tuesdays. Today, we're going to take a look at Gravity Box with support for Android N. Exposed was recently updated and officially released to support Android N 7.1 and 7.0. So it's really exciting to be able to start seeing modules getting updated to support the same Exposed framework. So let's go ahead and check it out on our OnePlus 5 and see some of the new things that we got with Android N support for Gravity Box. First thing we need to make sure is we need to make sure to have Exposed installed. Obviously we need root. We also need to have a custom recovery. Please be aware that whenever you install modules or anything like that with Exposed, make sure you back up your device so that in case something goes wrong, you can always revert back. Once we install the binaries using the Exposed, uh, the actual recovery, we can go through and open up the APK. Now this is actually just the uh, Exposed installer. So it's been updated with material design. You can see here right there, I'm activated version is 88.1, which is the install or update. The one I have on my device is 88. So there's already been an update and I'll process that after this video. Um, the API is uh, for Nougat API 25 for Android 7.1. If you are running 7.0, make sure you download the link from the link below the API 24 as, the, as that's compatible with 7.0. 7.1 needs to be API 25. Of course, this is OnePlus 5 ARM64. Uh, once you have this installed, you can go through and look at your modules. You can scroll down and look at what you have available. I've already installed Gravity Box. In the initial video that I did for XDA, where I was able to show you guys the, that there is a beta or an alpha version of it, it has now been updated to be full running. So it's no longer a beta, it's stable. Uh, and then we'll read it directly with it. So activating it, you just have to go back. Uh, check the box and restart the device. You can go here under framework and then select one of the options, soft reboot, and then you'll be able to use this module. If not, you can do a full reboot. Going back into modules, back into gravity box, you'll notice that there's many categories here to what we can do with gravity box. Uh, the main benefit, of course, is lock screen tweaks, which gives us the ability of adding shortcuts to our screen. And this is something I'm really excited about. You'll notice these six shortcuts that I have right beneath my uh, actual clock here. Now, this doesn't actually include, is not included as part of Gravity Box. This is just lock screen widget. This is another module I'm trying to test out. I can double click the YouTube one and then it'll open it up. And then we'll notice right there, we're back into YouTube. Uh, going back into the installer, let's go back into Gravity Box. You will have it as part of your app drawer. So you have lock screen modifications, enable lock screen uh, rotations, uh, menu key, quick menus. Just be aware that a lot of these things, some of, uh, a lot of these things don't need reboot, but there are a few that require you to reboot. So if you do need that, make sure you put that in. One of the ones I really like doing is whenever we use the quick unlock right now is checked. So if I unlock my device and like I swipe up and I can put my password, it's not going to require me to hit this check mark. Very nice, very fast. Of course, I can still use my fingerprint, but if I didn't have that, this speeds it up. The old method required me to hit the check mark. So even though I had a pin, I still have to worry about the actual like enter key or you know turn on key. Um, show pattern error, enable menu. You can even do scrambling the uh, the, uh, the actual pin if you're using this. Uh, smart and lock, of course, disable uh, imprint vibration, double tap to sleep. I haven't been able to actually get this to run, but if I turn it on, let me see here. It does something on the lock screen. Oh, it actually does work. So uh, let's go and unlock. And of course, uh, custom carrier text. We can disable some of those status bar tweaks. We can go in there, signal cluster, uh, status bar, progress, data traffic, clock, battery settings, a lot of customization. Uh, Gravity Box by, de by default is one of those customizations that just like has a boatload of them. Pi control is very functional. Uh, it depends if you like it or not. I have it turned on on the bottom part of my screen, but you can see these little three halos right there. That's the other trigger points that you can turn on. You can customize it. You can add applications to it. I mean, right now I'm only using it for the basically navigation button, but you can see it shows up some information here. Battery percentage not connected as well as T-Mobile. And of course I have the home, read back and recent button. Uh, other than that, Power tweaks, we can turn on some of the battery uh, functionality, the low battery warning, we can disable that, change that, uh, disable LED flashing, battery charging, LED proximity wake, uh, phone tweaks, power tweaks, Pi control, as I mentioned, the phone tweaks are very nice. Uh, smart radio, you can select some of them, not sure if they're going to work, flip uh, while ringing to calm down, call vibration, uh, navigation keys, this will work. Uh, if you have your navigation keys on your screen. Uh, and then of course, application launcher, fingerprint launcher, screen recording, if your device does support it, you can customize some of the options here. I had this, I have it set to full HD, four megabits by uh, bit rate. And I think we should just bring it up here. 
I'll go to six, uh, six megabits. Um, and of course, rotating the screen. Um, uh, unlimited notification control, ultimate notification uh, control. This is some uh, new ex you know, beta uh, that are in trial mode. Uh, so per app setting, active uh, screen, quiet hours, and default settings if your device doesn't have those. And of course, you can go to about, screen recording, tweaks. Uh, again, very, very powerful. I love the fact that you can actually just customize things to the level that you want. Uh, the navigation bar, again, you can just do a master switch. And you notice here it says change will be applied after reboot. So not everything is uh, automatically applied. Pi, you can customize it. Very, very nice. Uh, again, just keep in mind, you have to download the one that has the word N on it because there's multiple versions. So let's go back one more time and we'll go down into the installer. We'll go down under download and then type in the gravity. You notice there's Gravity Box N, there's Gravity Box MM, and then there's also Gravity Box JB, NKK, and then LP. So you download the corresponding one to your device. Make sure you have the latest version of the installer. Update to the latest stable version of this device uh, of the software, and you should be pretty good. Very. It is extremely exciting to see that we have exposed finally on our Android 7.0. Now again. Version 24 is for 7.0, version 25 is for 7.1. Uh, make sure you have a custom recovery and you do need root and that you are backing up your device before you do anything. And I also recommend activating your modules one at a time so that if there is any issue, you know exactly which one that caused the problem. And make sure that you download that uninstaller, then leave it on your drive. Because you, if you ever have a problem where the device doesn't boot up normally, you jump into your recovery and flash the uninstaller, which disables all modules, and you'll be able to boot up normally. Um, other than that, let me know in the comments what do you guys recommend as far as other modules, as long as they're compatible with Android N or their app specific. And I'm just, you know, I'm here. I want to bring it back and, you know, send me your questions. Let me know if you're having any concerns, any questions or any interest in Expose and does this make sense to you guys or not. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week on Tuesday with another episode of Expose Tuesdays. This is TK. See you later.